So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to replace the front end in your E46, mainly the bumper, rag cradle, and this fender and the hood. Um, I got a front end collision. You can see the hood's all screwed up. So I've already pulled off the front end. I've got a parts car outside. going to go and I'll uh, record the process of removing the front end on that and this fender as I've already done it on this one. And then we're going to go through the process of putting it back onto this car. All right, so pulled off the air box. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's two bolts right there that hold that in there. And then you've got to undo these clips on either side. They just either push up or down, depending on which one you're talking about. There's one, two, three, four. And I think there's one more on the bottom one on the front. So I think there's five. Um, you got to pull the, you undo those clips, pull the top piece off like I did over here, pull the filter out. And then uh, this, that slides right off of this. And then the only thing left that holds this in is the little air duct here that comes from, uh, from the front that allows air into the box. Another way air gets into the box. Um, so that just kind of slides out of here. You just kind of wiggle it back. That's why you take all this off. It makes it easy to wiggle back and then it's out of there. Um, you could have disconnected this up where the math is. Might have given you a bit more room, but doing the way I did works. And also, I took this off right at the beginning. This sits right up in here. Um, there's two spots where that bolts in or clips in. I'm not 100% sure as mine were missing, but they should be pretty easy. Some of the BMW clips you, you push through the center. I'm not sure how these work, but you should be able to figure it out. Next thing is the little side lights. Uh, these are really simple to pull out right up in this gap. You take a Phillips screwdriver and it's kind of hard to see, but there's a Phillips head in there. You just got to find the right size. Mine's a little small for it, but it works. Spin that and it'll loosen this out. And then all you have to do is disconnect your cable there. All right, so next step is to pull out the headlights. I have already done this one. I'm just going to walk through it quickly on how to do this one. They're actually not too difficult. Um, depending on which one you have, because I don't think the pre-LCIs have the headlight washers have to clean these, but you gotta, with the ones with the headlight washers, you have to pry this out and remove the unit first. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. One thing to note on my other one, it, uh, for some reason, once I pulled this out, the windshield washer fluid just kept gushing out of each one of them. So I had to do it really quickly where I, uh, I had the headlight unhooked, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna do that first, just in case that happens unhook this, pull the headlight down and put that back on to stop the flow. So anyway, we'll go through this. You need an eight millimeter uh, socket and then a couple different uh, uh, slot screwdrivers to pry with. I'm gonna use my eight millimeter socket. There's four bolts that hold this on. Two of them are really easy. One's right here, one's right here. Mine are a little bit rusty. Um, and then the other two are a little harder to get at, but you should be able to. One sits right back here right down in there, I'm going to point at it. So that one right there. And then the other one, which is the hardest one, is up in here. Let me get the light. So down in that hole there, you see the bolt. It's a little hard to see, but right to the inside of the car through this little gap, you see. So right in there. So I'm gonna to get to work, pull those four off. I'm gonna get it ready to pull out quickly just in case that gushes like my other one did. That side didn't. Um, I think there's something wrong. I gotta look at it, but anyway, we'll go from there. So after doing that, your headlight is still tight in there because this is basically holding it. Um, so you're gonna pry this. I'm gonna use a uh, blue cloth here, just so I don't scratch up my stuff. Pry it out, and then you pry the end piece off of the hose. So I'll try and show you a little bit difficult with the, trying to hold the camera, but. Just 
So it's probably around the edge, it'll start to come up. Let me get that part done first. Okay, so I've pried it out. Um, usually that little plastic piece there, you can see it there. It, mine broke off. Um, I've had that happen before on the other car. It's actually the opposite side that's broken, but if you're careful, you can get it. Sometimes plastic's brittle. Uh, it just sits on the edge of this. I'll fix it or I'll use my other one. Um, so all you need to do once this is pulled out, you gotta hold it because it'll spring back. It's right up in here. This is where the hose connects to it. So you gotta pry it off right there. And then as I said, sometimes that happened to me on the other car where the washer fluid will keep flowing. I'm I don't think it will on this one because it didn't on the other side. So you pry this out and then uh, there's a couple clips you gotta undo over here, but I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I've pulled it off. You don't really even need to pry. You just hold the hose that's retracted itself in there, but you just hold the plastic hose there and hold this and pull them apart. They just kind of clip together, so it comes apart easily. Next, you need to undo a couple clips. So up back in here, you'll see it just kind of clips in there. You can just pull it out. On the other side, I had to pry the little, you see the little plastic nub there? I had to push it in to get it to pull out, but this one seems to come out pretty easily. And then on this, I don't believe, yeah, then it just pulls right out. There's nothing you need to do on that side. It's just the one side that clips. And then the whole thing will pull back or pull out. And then you just have to undo all of your cables. The BMW connectors are so easy compared to old Chevy stuff. Um, you just push the little tab back there and pull it back. There's like four of them or something like that. There's the tabs on the bottom of this one. Now we'll move on to pulling off Kind of the whole front end um, this whole entire ride cradle this whole piece and the bumper all comes off as one piece um i just got to remember if there's a few plastic pieces i got to pull off first and then yeah you pull it right out of the uh the frame there and uh under your connectors and pulls right off it's fairly simple one more thing to note about the headlights is you've got the headlight bracket piece here there are two bolts that hold it uh to the rag cradle slash impact bar here you got to remove them first before you pull it all off so there's one right down in here and then there's also one right underneath this plastic piece that's dark but there's one right there same thing on the other side i have these disconnected now again as i said earlier it's just the two bolts i've also disconnected all the wiring i think to the uh, horns which sit just up in here um, and then the fog light uh, now the most of it uh, actually i think the rest of it is held in by just uh, three bolts on either side to the frame here so there's one, two, three. Those are a size 13. And then there's two on either side up here. Same over here. Three nuts, not bolts, sorry. Go on to studs down there. And then two on that side as well. So I'm going to get to work getting those off. And the uh, the whole entire ride cradle, impact bar, and the uh, bumper pull off as one. One thing to note when you're undoing the three nuts that hold it to the frame, um, the top two you can get with a short 13 millimeter socket. The bottom one though, right at the bottom, it uh, you need to use a 13 millimeter wrench on it, but they're not too tight, so it's not a hard job. I've gotten all of those out. You can see it's just sitting on the studs there. Um, same on the other side. The other thing you have to do as well is just unclip your bumper. Um, you just kind of pull it out and down a bit and it'll pull itself off the clips. You can see mine's already, the whole thing's starting to move um, and my other side was already unclipped. So I'm gonna kind of move things back a bit here so I can start to pull it off and see if there's anything I have missed. Um, yeah. Yeah, also these things here, I'm not sure. Yeah, see it goes into a little hole there. So you might have to loosen these off to unclip it from your rod. Um, I didn't do that, mine kind of uh, came out once you undo the side. But yeah, loosen those off so it doesn't clip onto your rod as well. Two more things I forgot to mention. Um, 
Right here, this is where the headlight bracket was sitting. You've got the hoses for those headlight cleaners that plug into this. And that one hose you still see connected goes all the way to the other side. And it is zip tied to this. So I just removed these ones and this hose and the other bracket will come with the uh, bumper. It was easier that way because pulling this hose off is a bit of a pain. So I just pulled the one hose and then I also just removed the unit that sits in here completely. It was easier just to maneuver it and get the other hose off. So. Just pull those two off. You can also pull the one, whichever way works for you. And then the other thing you need to disconnect as well is the hood latch. So this unit right here, um, it usually is clipped here and this is uh, covered. You use a, a slot screwdriver to pry that open, pry it off the, fire, or off the fender there. And then you just need to pull these uh, cables apart. So they just both sit in there. It's, I find it easier if you just pull that one out and then you uh, you just pry it out here. It just takes a bit of pulling. These cables are pretty tough. So, uh, you know, just pry, just don't cut it, you know. Okay, so I got the hood latch disconnected over here. So now this should be ready to just pull off. Hopefully I didn't forget any connectors, but we're gonna do that now. You just grab up here, grab at the bottom of the bumper and kind of start to pull. It slides out pretty easily. Um, it seems like there is something I forgot. Oh, there's also the power for the AC fan. Um, that's down over here. So here, let me push that back up and I'll show you how that comes apart. So you also have to disconnect this connector right up in here, which uh, powers the fan up here, I believe. So you just pull the two tabs, it should come off. Mine isn't in its place, so I put the camera down and pry, pull that connector off. And that should be all. Okay, there. That's disconnected. And there's also one more right at the top here, which I'm not 100% sure what that's for, but that's disconnected. And uh, it should all come off now. So just pull the top and bottom, pull backwards, and it's coming. Getting caught a little bit there. The cable that I just disconnected is caught. Pull that back. Pull that out. I've got one more connector there. Just be careful as you do it. It's just getting caught there. Just be careful, make sure you don't tear any wires. And it comes right off. Try and set this down in a way we're not gonna damage the bumper. Probably send it up like this is best. There we go. So you can see the whole bumper with the AC fan, the impact and rag impact bar rag cradle is all apart. And now we've got this. You'll see that when you pull this off of here, there's a couple uh, little pieces, these up in here that actually go inside the frame. So it'll, you gotta pull it out a good amount before it uh, releases. And yeah, that's it. Um, I think the other things I gotta pull off too are this, uh, the rad and AC condenser because it, uh, it got damaged off the other car in my accident. So I'm gonna figure that one out and make a video about it. And then I'll also, make a bit of video about removing the fender. Um, I'm only removing this one because I don't need the other one, but uh, I'll do a video about that too. And yeah, that's about it for now. Um, 